Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Kramer's V for a goodness of fit test. Um, note that Kramer's V was originally actually only for an independent samples test, but there are some that argue that you can also use it for a goodness of fit test. On my companion website, uh, here's the address, I actually have some references for that. Okay, let's. The formula for Kramer's V is actually looking like this. Now, this consists uh, out of three different things. Uh, on top, we have the chi-square statistic. Then we have at the denominator the n for the sample size. And then we have df, which is short for degrees of freedom. Now, the degrees of freedom itself can be calculated by using k minus 1. And in here, k is the number of categories. So these are the formulas. Let's use them in an example. Here is the example that I also used in the calculation of the Pearson chi-square goodness of fit test. Um, we are given some uh, frequencies of different marital statuses and need to calculate that Kramer's V. Now that started actually with the degrees of freedom, which was uh, K minus one, where K was the number of categories. So if we look here, we have one, two, three, four, uh, five different categories. So K in our case will be five. So if we substitute that K over here in a formula, we get five minus one, so K equals four. Then we got the big formula for V itself. Now we already have this degrees of freedom as we calculated earlier, that was four. So we can already substitute that in there. Then the next thing is here this n, and this n was actually the sample size. So the sample size in this case is the sum of all of these. So we get 972 plus 181, etc., which in total will actually be 1941. So we can actually substitute that for that n, and as you can see, that is now entered in here. That leaves us with only that big chi-square value. And that's actually quite a long calculation. Um, however, I already did a video on how to calculate those values for the chi-square test. And so I won't be showing that again here. So we can simply fill this out. That's actually a fraction in itself. So finally we get this, and this would be our Kramer's V. Now next slide, I'll show you how you can somewhat simplify this or simply use a calculator to calculate it straight away. So on the previous slide, we ended with this big uh, formula. Now, um, if you don't want to simplify this any further and simply just cal uh, calculate this straight in the calculator, that's fine, you can stop here. Um, but let's have a look. Now, normally, if you have a fraction uh, within a fraction, what you can do is uh, simply think this as that the bottom one is divided by one, and then you say this one times that one divided by that one times that one. So that will give you, in this case, uh, the 240, what is it, 2 billion 424 million 554 times one. So that's simply this one. And as you can see, I multiplied this one with that 1941. And that's done up here. So that's the first step. Then what we can actually notice is here it's four and this one ends with a four, so they're both divisible by two. So I can rewrite that and actually end up with this. And in that case, I've also actually noted that here I have 1941 times 1941, which is the same as 1941 squared. Now, since we have both in the numerator and denominator a two, so I can actually cross uh, these out and then we're left with this. Then the next thing um, that I've actually done here is to say that if you have a, a square root, you can also just take the square root of the numerator and denominator separately. So that's been done in the next step. Now, because uh, these are square roots, we can actually expand these into two separate square roots. So we actually get them separately. And because of course, uh, 1941 squared and then the square root will simply be 1941. We're left with 1941 here. 
So far, so good. Um, many would actually stop here and calculate, but I don't like having square roots in my denominator. So uh, let's continue by multiplying this uh, with one and one in a special way, uh, simply by the square root uh, divided by the square root of two, which is one. I'm doing this because this will later on then cancel out that square root in there. Because now I can do uh, this one times the the numerators times the numerators and the denominators times the denominators and that will actually then simply give me here again I can combine them into one big square root and since the square root of 2 times 2 will simply be 2 we actually simply are left now here with a 2 that leaves me to actually calculate 1941 times 2 and that's 3882 which, all in all, now if you would actually calculate this, is approximately 0 0.4011. Well, that's how you can calculate Kramer's V for a goodness of fit test. Uh, if you want to have more information on this, please visit my uh, website. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because that really helps out. Thank you for watching.